Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss, uh, well, basically composition of functions here. So I did an earlier video on combining functions, and now we're, this is just another uh, method of combining functions here. I'll, I'll get to it in a bit, but let's start with an example. Let's say if you have a function like this, you know, y is just, let's say, is equal to f of u, where this one's equal to, yeah, let's just say this is square root of u here. And let's say u is equal to, well, g of x. So it, it's a it's basically a function composed of this. This one's going to be composed of two functions here. You have f of u here, and u is going to be is going to be g of x. And let's say this equals two x squared plus one here. Now, since uh, u is a function of x and y is a function of u, so basically y is going to be a function of x as well. And then when you combine these two, you're just going to have y is equal to f of well, let's just put the u inside f of g of x. And this equals 2f of x plus 1. And now if we put, put this inside here where the, the u is, so this is going to be square root x squared plus 1. Yes, and basically this procedure that I just showed here, this is just called composition. And basically y, the function here, is composed of two functions, namely uh, g of x and let's just call it g and f. So there's two functions, g and, and function f there. Okay, so after explaining above here, now I just want to get to the, the general definition here of the composite function. Basically, if you're given two functions, f and g, the composite function, f and then this little circle, g, so just a notation that's used, or also called the composition of f and, f and g, is defined as f, uh, this composite, g of x is equal to f of g of x here. So this is basically just definition and that's just a notation here. And uh, yeah, my calculus book uh, calls it a circle, so what I mean is you would just say f circle g or, or whatnot. I, I actually I never used this notation, but anyways, I just use this one here. But so this one, when we have this one, you're now, now let's look at the uh, domain here. This one's important because the domain is just going to be... So yeah, when we look at the domain here, I wrote down uh, just what my calculus book says here. Basically, yeah, basically the domain of f circle g is a set of all x in g such that g of x is in the domain of f here. I'll, so w what this is saying basically, f. Uh, so then this composite function is defined whenever both g of x and f of g of x are defined here. So uh, the best way to picture this one here is if you look at, let's just say you have, yeah, so let's say, say you have two functions, uh, g and f here. So the input in this case is gonna be x. So this is the input here. And what you get out of this is, is assuming this is only for values where x is defined, you're just going to get, let's say, g of x here. Actually, I'll write it down here. So you get g of x, and this one here, this is the output for this g of x. Let's call output 1 here. And now, for the f, this is going to be the new input here. So the only way that this is uh, defined is, is if you have... Yeah, if g of x is inside the, the domain of, yeah, it's basically defined for uh, f of uh, g of x. So this is going to be the new input here. And then what you get out of it is just the output here, f of g of x here. So we'll call this, yeah, the new output here. You could also look at it in terms of a number line here. So if you have just, these are uh, random values of x here. This goes inside right here. This one is g. Yeah, so you get g of x in, in this case here, and then, and then from this you're going to get f of g of x here. So you, you get something like this here, and also, or you could just draw it like this, so for, this x value goes here. But this is only if it's defined, so if this x is defined inside g of x, and it's defined such that g of x is inside f of g of x here. Okay, now the best way to illustrate the composition of functions is by doing an example here. This one's pretty useful. Basically, if you have f of x is equal to x squared and g of x is equal to x minus 3, basically find f circle g and g circle f here. So this changes the function we get here because we always start off with the right one. And this, for, for this one here, f circle g, this one is just equal to f of g of x and g of x is equal to x minus 3. So we're going to go f of x minus 3. So now we're going to put x minus 3 inside this x. So we replace this x with x minus 3. This just equals to x minus 3 squared. So we get this. That's our answer here. So that's our answer. And then if we go g of f, 
or um, g circle f, that's not of, we're just going to get the same thing, g of f of x, now we have it opposite. So we will start off with whatever this one is first, in this case it's f, so we put this inside, this is going to be g of x, yeah, x squared, and this just equals 2, we'll plug that in here, x squared minus 3 here. And also, yeah, now I uh, just wrote some, some important notes you should uh, consider here from this example we learned uh, basically from the example in general, f circle g is not equal to, to, to g circle uh, f here. This one here, as you can see, they're both not the same, so they're different here. And, and the notation f of uh, g means the function g is, uh, yeah, so f circle g means the function g, which is this one is applied first and then f is applied second here, as we've done here. So for f circle g, we've done, we uh, applied g first. For g circle f, we applied f first here. And we, so there's an x squared that shows up first. So we applied it first. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully uh, you, you learned from this video. You can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And I'll do an, uh, another video uh, later when I get some time on uh, just some more examples of, com of composition of functions here. Well, that's all for today. And uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.